To the PD now, where Florence will spend millions of dollars all to stop flooding. The city got a $3 million grant from the South Carolina Disaster Recovery Office. News 13's Lacey Lee is live in our downtown Florence newsroom with what that money will pay for. Lacey. Good evening, Bob and Megan. Councilman Georgia Bailey says Florence would need $200 million to address stormwater improvements, but he says they will take whatever money they can get to address the flooding. The problem is that we don't have the ability right now for the water that comes in to get it out. Florence City Councilman Georgia Bailey says whenever Oakland Avenue in North Church Street sees heavy rainfall, it floods. In this part of town, you can see catch basins, which have large tanks underneath. Problem is, the water has nowhere to go when the tanks fill up. Resident Tim Water says he's dealt with flooding as long as he can remember. I was born and raised here my whole life, and uh, I remember when, uh, when I was eight or nine, the street still would flood. My house is two blocks away. My business, the, the save a lot, the grocery store, is four blocks away. So this is a thoroughfare that feeds into the community. Whether it rains an inch or five inches, this street floods. And it's impassable. It's just impassable. And this is the thoroughfare through our neighborhood. With the $3 million, the city will improve and replace pipes to alleviate flooding. Literally, this is where the community and business comes together. And our, uh, Oakland Avenue is a major thoroughfare for our uh, North Lawrence corridor and it needs to get addressed and I'm excited that we'll be able to do it in a cost effective way. Water says he's satisfied knowing that change is coming. Finally some infrastructures come to the African American community. Normally what they do is they build on top of the community. They don't build the infrastructure and if you don't have a good foundation your property values are going to decrease. Now, Jabaley says this project could take up to three years to complete, but he is hoping for sooner. Live in the Florence Newsroom, Lacey Lee, News 13.